All right, so tonight I'm going to try my first attempt at this plastic welding thing. Uh, came home, the wife said I had to quit mowing, honey, because that black thing fell off the mower and it started shooting stuff at me. I figured she meant this here shoot off of my, uh, you know, old little push mower. So I got to looking at it. You got the pin that goes through here. You got a spring, holds tension on it. And, uh, you know, this, this rod goes through here with the spring, holds tension on it, all that jazz pretty basic it's old school um but there's a crack right here in the plastic so i'm gonna try to bend a paper clip around and melt it in with a soldering iron we'll see how it goes so i've got this weller 8200n two different dual heat temperature soldering gun here that i picked up at goodwill for you know seven dollars forever ago and i've never used it the things like brand new so i'll try and use this here um i got a little piece of this is some linear low density polyethylene tubing um just to kind of check it out see how it works if i try to tack this together get an idea a little feel for it before i just jump into the project itself i think what i'm going to do is i got this small key ring um and i'm thinking That'll give it some pretty good strength. I can put it on this side here, maybe. Or I might cut it and just make an arc and bridge it from here to here. So I'm going to try to squeeze that together, tack it with the soldering gun, and then uh, kind of go from there, see what it does. So you got to try it, right? So I just made a little slit in here. I'm going to try and just kind of press it back together. All the videos I watched, right, they all say you got to... Just kind of tack it first so this is on low heat i don't really know how long this thing takes to heat up so I'll just keep pressing her in there and there it goes so i got a little flux or something on her solder maybe on the end of this here gun and uh that's not so bad let's see how strong it is Eh, not very, but it would hold it at least. So I can put the metal in like I'd like. So I'm going to try uh, tack her again here. I wonder if I stick the tip. It's got a little bit of an angle there. Let's try putting that, that right down in there. That seemed to work pretty good. So, all right, I think we're gonna try and give it a shot on the real unit here. So I gotta press this little crack here together. See if we can't zoom in. You can see the cracks just through here. So we're just going to try to squeeze it together basically. And see if I can't put a little tack on there to get it to hold where it's supposed to be. And then I can see about adding a piece of metal to kind of really give it some more strength. I imagine I should probably go get some channel locks or something of the sort to kind of squeeze this together instead of putting my fingers this close to a soldering gun. So, you know. We're not going to waste our time with all that. This plastic's quite a bit thicker than that other stuff I was practicing on there, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger all the way back, give her, give her all the heat. Let's see. It might actually be hotter than I thought it was. So I'm going to hold it for a second so that maybe cools down some. We'll see if that works. She's tacked for now. So now I gotta figure out if I'm gonna fit 
this ring all the way in like that because I looked at putting it out here but the bracket on the mower goes there so probably not the best spot I was thinking about just pushing that trying to heat this thing up and shove it all the way in like that and just keep pushing it in I think that's probably what I'm gonna do seems like the fastest easiest solution so which may not always be the best but if you look here you can see that it, it fits in there pretty nicely it should be able to give it plenty of strength all the way around gonna bring the whole thing back together so we're gonna give her a shot It might be worth tacking it one more time over here on this side. That way, when I start pressing on that side, maybe it won't won't change shape too much after that. Little solder gun's not too bad with that light on there. I'm gonna try to take this and maybe see if I can't lay it across here, let it heat up the whole ring. Starting to realize you're not supposed to use this thing with sideways pressure on this here tip, being that it's copper once she gets hot like that. It's definitely starting to bend that tip. So, you know, learn as we go. Let's see if we can maybe tip her around the other way. Got a little bit of smoke going on here, some fumes. You know, I imagine I should have did this outside and properly ventilated area of some sort but the wife and kid are in bed so you know we're not bothering anybody but myself seems to be sinking in there pretty good Let's see how she looks. Well, that's not too bad. She pushed in there pretty good. Need to let her cool down. Oh, that smells like burning grass a little bit. That's not so bad. I might try and take some of this here. Uh, tubing see if I can't kind of just add an extra layer in there to kind of fill it in and hold that ring in place This is being a lawnmower, so it's gonna be vibrating around pretty good So um, yeah, I'll try to cut a little Filler strip out of this here and see if I can't kind of melt it In around there and see how that works Zoom out a little bit. There we 
go. This is just stuff we use on the drain line at the water softeners at work. Happen to have some down here in the basement still from when I installed mine. So we'll see how this goes. Seen a guy talking about, you know, he really likes using HDPE, high density polyethylene. Um, you know, this is a low density polyethylene. I don't know how much difference it's really going to make in the long run. I haven't done a whole lot of research on all that. But, you know, before I jump down a rabbit hole, let's just try to get the project done, huh? Pretty solid right now. Let's see what I got here. And it's got a little bit of movement, but not a whole lot. So I think we'll see what it what happens if I try to lay this other plastic in here and let her fill it in. It's not quite melting in like I was hoping it would. But just keep giving her the heat and see what happens. I'm gonna hold this tip here, let it get hot first, see if maybe that makes a difference. Maybe this is why that other fellow liked the high density polyethylene. Who knows? <laughs> Saturn gun starting to make some noises and the lights flickering a little bit. Maybe that's why it was at uh, Goodwill for $7. See here in that fancy manual that I got from whenever this thing was made that uh, they do have a smoothing tip which will probably work a little bit easier for this application trying to heat up and just smooth it in there but I'm work with what I got. Don't seem to be heating up a whole lot. 
on the high setting, so. I didn't really push that in there too much or melt it down a whole lot. Uh, I think something's going on with this air soldering gun, but I have no idea. Well, I think that part failed. But, we can mess around with that later. I think the fact that I got that ring in there, I don't think it's going to come out of there. It's sunk pretty much all the way into it. So, should be alright. I know you guys got to love this here fancy camera work I got. But, I think that should uh, work out pretty well. We shall see. I guess maybe I should have put it here on this side, kind of thinking about it now, but you know, we'll see what happens. Worst come to worst, we get to play around with this soldering iron again. Maybe get my $7 out of it. 